check out. Guys come here from all over the country, colleges all over the country, play for the Dolphins, decide to make this their permanent home, develop roots in the community, really become part of this community in ways that transcend what their playing career was. And this guy is certainly at the top of that list. A Hall of Famer, Super Bowl champion, great champion in the community, great leader in the community, and now a Palm Beach County resident. Let's get it up for Bob Greasy here. That Bob is, uh, you know, on preseason television. And what was announced a couple weeks ago, which you may not know, is that Bob is coming back to the Dolphins on a full-time basis, not to play quarterback. Although he suggested that might be something he'd be interested in. He said he'd be good for one game, and then the rest of the season would be a little sketchy. But uh, Bob is now a member of the Dolphins radio broadcast team. We'll be broadcasting along with Jimmy Cephalo, Joe Rose, Kim Bocamp, or Keith Sims all Dolphins games during the regular season and hopefully postseason in 2011. So Bob, welcome back. Thanks for coming this morning. What I said was, when he said, are you coming back, I said, he said I could only last for one game. I said, at these prices, I'd be glad to come back. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, when I when I retired in 1981, uh, I was the second highest paid player in the National Football League. Yeah. I was making 425,000 a year. Wow! And at that time, that was a lot of money. But, 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 yeah, but. Walter Payton, by the way, was the highest paid. He was a Chicago Bear. But. Um, Anyway, it's nice to, to be back. I won't be um, catching any commercial flights in and out of small college towns anymore. <laughs> I'll be flying on the Dolphin Charter, which is, which is the way to go. And I won't be staying in any Holiday Inn Expresses or Hilton Gardens Inns. <laughs> you know, it's, um, people think Traveling is the greatest. People who don't travel think it's the greatest, but those of us who have to travel around a little bit, uh, that, was the, that was the part about it that I didn't enjoy. I mean, I did that for 29 years. Um, hell, I go back further than that. I, when I was at Purdue, when I was in high school, I had no idea. People, these guys come up now and they say, Oh, did you, uh, did you always have this? You were going to be a pro football player of mine and make the Hall of Fame? I said, hell, when I was in high school, all I wanted to do is, was find out where I was going to go the next day. You know, Purdue, 